All right, y'all. So I am reacting to a uh, animated horror story, and uh, this one's called Volume Three. You can see it in the corner up here. It's called Volume Three. I couldn't find Volume One and Two, but um. Yeah, I'm just gonna watch it's three true alone at night horror stories animated. So I've seen like animated horror stories before and they're like interesting to watch. Um some sometimes they can get scary. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I get scared. But you know, let's 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 just watch it. I worked in the warehouse section of a local grocery store a few years back. It was a really small store being family opened and everything, so we didn't have many employees. Most of the stocking would be done during the day, but me and another guy worked overnights to organize the back room and finish whatever the day shift didn't get done. They look exactly the same. And also, it's like midnight right now, so, I mean, I guess that makes it better. It was a simple job, and honestly paid well compared to other big name stores. The only downside was that I would work alone two nights a week on my co-worker's days off. He did the same on my days off, and we both always complained about it, because we'd still have to do the same amount of work, except we'd have to do it by ourselves. This happened on a Friday night, which was my co-worker's day off. I clocked in at 10.30 and started rolling out the boxes to stock. I had my headphones in, listening to a podcast, Around three hours in, I finished the first set of boxes and went into the back to grab more when I heard a thud echo through the building. I pulled my oh. headphones out and listened. The building made strange noises sometimes, but I'd never heard them that loud before. I went to the front of the store and looked down the aisles, but it seemed to all be normal. One thing to note is that the store locks the entrance doors at night, but the exit doors are those automatic ones that swing open when you walk by them from the inside. We always leave these unlocked, allowing you to actually pull them open from the outside. It takes a bit of strength and kind of feels like you're breaking the door, but the other stores I used to work at did the same thing too, so I assume it's a regular practice. To be fair, if you weren't a worker, you really would never know that they were unlocked, because a quick pull on the door wouldn't even make it budge. You really have to force it. <clears throat> anyway, this always made me slightly nervous whenever I'd hear something. Seeing as everything was good though, I went back to work. I was in the aisle in the far left of the store, stocking beverages, when I suddenly saw a figure walk past the aisle. It was in the corner of my eye, so I didn't get a good look, but it was enough to make me jump. I pulled out my headphones again and quickly went to the front, looking down where I thought I saw them walking. Alright, so I'm gonna try not to like keep pausing throughout these, uh, these stories, but why, why would doors for a store be unlocked, like, period, like, I'm pretty sure they're just broken. Well, he said, like, the other stores, but, like, still. And this one's kind of mid. Hopefully, hopefully it gets better. They weren't there anymore, though. I jogged across the store, looking down each aisle. I was sure I saw someone, but now it was like they disappeared. I even searched the back room and didn't see anything. I wasn't sure if I was just seeing things now, or if it was real. I went back to work, but I was a bit paranoid for the rest of the night, looking around often. I heard a couple more things throughout my shift, checking on them each time, but never finding anything. It wasn't until I talked to my coworker the next night that we decided to check the security cameras. He was technically the overnight manager, so he had access to the security room. We saw nothing unusual for the first hour. But then, around the 1 hour and 20 minute mark, a man could be seen entering through the automatic doors. He was wearing a large jacket and had one hand kept in his pocket the whole time. He walked around the store, 
sometimes stopping to watch me while I was stalking with my back facing him. It gave me chills watching this guy stare at me without me even knowing. We saw him knock over a box at the three hour mark, putting it back quickly and rushing to hide. Mm, that was the this thud. was the first sound I heard. After this, we took the footage to the police, but there were no identifying features, so it was worthless. Seeing that man stare at me with one hand in his pocket the whole time was such an eerie feeling though, looking like he was hiding a gun or something, deciding whether or not to do something terrible, or maybe he was waiting for me to catch him first. Mm. He never came back, at least not that I know of. Okay, I think that was the first one. That was not scary at all. But, I mean, there's still two more, so hopefully they'll get better. But, um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, not even, yeah, none was L. I live with my older brother in a small home Second just one. off of a highway. We're both in our mid-twenties, working regular jobs, but financially, it's a lot easier on us to split the rent and live together. Anyway, we don't see each other all that often because we work opposite shifts. I work the morning shift and he works overnight. Truthfully, I don't think either of us mind though, Whoa. because it just feels like we always have our own house when the other is gone. This happened a couple months back but it still terrifies me. I got home from work around 4 one day and went out with some friends before getting back home by 10. My brother had already left for work, so it was just me. I had work in the morning though, so I didn't have much time to relax before bed. I packed my lunch for tomorrow, then chilled on the couch for just 15 or so minutes, then got in bed. Being pretty tired, I was knocked out in a couple minutes. A few hours later, I woke up, seeing it was 2.30 in the morning. I put my head back on the pillow and closed my eyes, but then I heard my brother coming through the front door. It was way too early for him to be off, but it was around his lunchtime, so I figured he forgot his lunch or something, and I dozed off a minute later. The next day, I woke up and got ready for work. I got Wait, 2.30 in the morning? For lunch? Mm, that doesn't sound right. Got my bag together, went to the fridge to get my lunch that I packed yesterday, but it it's was gone. gone. Right away, I realized my brother had probably taken it last night by accident. I left for work, and during my lunch I just picked up some fast food. When I got back home that day, my brother wasn't home. I wanted to let him know not to take any of the food from the bottom drawer because that was my lunch stuff. I spent an hour cleaning up the kitchen and making tomorrow's lunch, then took a nap on the couch. When I got up around 8, I could tell that my brother had been back at some point, but had left for work already. I heated up some leftovers for dinner, then watched a movie in my room to kill the time. I fell asleep around my usual time, but woke up again in the middle of the night. The time was just before 3, and I heard the front door close as my brother walked into the house. I tiredly grabbed my phone from the nightstand and texted him to not take my food. I was too lazy to get up and talk, because I knew I'd have trouble falling back asleep if I did. I got a text back a few seconds later. But it was just a question mark, like he didn't know what I was saying. Mm. I didn't want to explain the whole thing over text if he was going to play dumb, so I slowly got out of bed, then walked over to the door. I opened it and went into the kitchen, but he wasn't there. I then walked out into the living room, and in one of our chairs was a random man wearing ragged clothes and had a crazed look in his eyes. Looks I like was him. standing there, frozen from the shock. On the table in front of him was a bunch of food from our fridge and pantry. 
The man got up quickly, and that's when I saw him holding something in his hand. A knife. I turned around and ran for the front door, but I didn't hear him follow me out. I stood at the end of the driveway, and for some reason called my brother first. I explained the whole thing, and he told me to call the police right away. During my freakout over the phone, I saw the man appear in the front doorway and then slam the door shut as if he were keeping me out of my own house. The police came and the man was still there, waving a knife around and telling them to leave his home. They were able to detain him after a few minutes, but I watched them drag him into the car and I could say for sure that this man was completely psycho. Apparently he never planned on leaving the house that time, and said it was his house now. How the man got a key to our house is still unknown, but we made sure to change the locks on the doors soon after. It's pretty easy to assume what he planned to do with that knife, but he probably thought my brother was the only one living there which was why he entered in the middle of the night. If I hadn't woken up and seen him, my brother probably would have been attacked as soon as he walked through the door after work, and I likely would have suffered the same fate in the morning. <clears throat> yeah, that one was pretty mid too, but there's still one more. I mean, they're entertaining to watch. They're just not scary so we'll, we'll watch the last one though i was house sitting for one of my best friends last year they had a few lizards and some fish that i had to feed along with a bunch of house plants to water they were on a two week long business trip so i agreed to take care of everything while they were away their house was a lot nicer than my apartment too so i was glad to do it the first week went by and it was great it felt kind of like being in an Airbnb, but then one night, while sitting at the table in the kitchen, I heard a man cough right outside the house. <coughs> it scared me because it was so close, being just outside the back door. I quickly walked over and turned on the outdoor lights to show that I was home. I waited a minute before looking out the window. Whoever was there was gone now, but why were they there in the first place? I stayed extra cautious for a while, but there was nothing else. It was a little past seven, and I had nothing to eat, so I went outside to go pick up some food, but as I was walking out, I noticed some footprints in the yard. The grass was pressed down, and there was a clear path they walked in. I followed them, going from the sidewalk to the back of the house, and then turning around and going back to the sidewalk. I got in my car and went out for food, but thought about it while driving. I couldn't come up with any reason someone would do that. It really just seemed pointless. When I got back to the house, I did a quick search for any more footprints in the grass, but didn't see anything. I went back inside and sat down to watch TV. After an hour, I was starting to get sleepy, so I shut it off and got in bed, sitting up on my phone for a bit. That's when I heard someone outside again. They were walking through the front yard. I listened as they went up to the front door and then went around to the back door. I got up. More alert now, as I heard the back door shifting around like they were trying to open it. I went to the top of the stairs and flipped the light switch, turning on the downstairs lights. The person stopped. I walked down a few steps, then leaned over the railing and looked at the back door. Nobody was there anymore, and for some reason, that terrified me even more. Seconds later, I saw shards of glass flying across the living room as I heard a window shatter. From where I was standing, I couldn't see it, but I immediately ran upstairs and into the bedroom. 
I heard a few coughs, <coughs> then the glass crunching as they stepped inside. As soon as they were in, everything turned to chaos. It was like they were pushing everything over, hitting and breaking things. I called the police, but I feared they wouldn't make it in time to help me. After a minute of destroying the bottom floor, the intruder ran up the steps and went into one of the spare bedrooms, doing the same thing. Then he came up to the bedroom that I was in. He tried opening the door, but I had locked it. Instead of leaving, he started smashing something against it, trying to break it down. One of the panels from the door nearly flew off, allowing them to reach in and open it. The man stepped in. He was wearing a face mask and a hoodie, and was holding a metal baseball bat. I was in the corner of the room, holding back tears as he looked at me in rage. But then he looked away and started smashing the walls and furniture all around the room. He didn't even acknowledge me, he just went around me, destroying the entire room in as little time as possible. Then he ran past me and went into the next room before he finally went downstairs and left the house. I stood in that same spot, frozen, until the police came. My friend came back early the next day to deal with the situation, but basically everything in the house was trashed and destroyed, but nothing was stolen. The police said it almost certainly had to be someone she knew that had something against her, but she couldn't think of anyone who would do this to her. I tried to give a description of the man, but he was fully covered, so I wasn't of much help. The most terrifying part was that the man just ignored me, confidently unthreatened by me. To this day, whoever that was hasn't been back to my friend's house, and their motive still remains unknown. Alright, so... That one was pretty mid too, but I mean it was it was fun to watch I guess. Um maybe I'll try to find another one soon. But um yeah, I mean most most animated horror stories are like hours long, like you can see with, with these ones. They're pretty long, but um yeah, if you guys did enjoy be sure to like, comment, subscribe, uh comment what videos you would want me to watch because um that could help. Um and uh yeah. See you in the next one.